All right, welcome back to today's plays. We have a little bit of a break, but we are in April now. My last episode didn't publish for whatever reason, so we won't count that against our record. Um, but I do think we went one and two on that MLB opening day. But let's quickly recap last Tuesday. Again, it's been a while. Um, we are recording now on April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day, by the way. Um, but let, yeah, let's go back to last Tuesday's recap. We'll keep it brief. Uh, it was very disappointing to say the least, but I'm over it since it was uh, five days ago. But um, let's just go over it real quick for our record purpose. Um, we had Boston uh, Bruins National Predators under six. That hit easily. Um, I believe the final was 2-0. Um, not even a doubt there. So happy on that one. Um, then next we had the Carolina money line, the Hurricanes. They got smoked. Um, I believe they lost 4-0 um, to the Lightning. Uh, ugly game, bad bet on my end. Um, but their grossest bet was the Pelicans plus 8.5 against Golden State. They were up the whole game, 15-plus um, points. Um, absolutely dominating. They are up in the fourth quarter. Ended up not covering the spread. They lose by 11 points. Again, after being up by, I think, almost 20 points at a port part of that game. So, um, very disappointing on that end. Um, not very pleased at all. So, that takes our 10-7-1 uh, and one record to 11-9-1. Again, still profitable, but not great. Um, and then our prize picks. Again, we did have a prize picks uh, that did not hit because Trey's Taco Tuesday lost. Um, and by the way, I'm done betting Trey Young because yesterday's play, um, everything hit except Trey's. But anyways, our prize picks are now 0-1-5 to 0-1-6. Um, don't worry, we have hit one. Um, we've stopped our uh, our 13, or I think it was our 14 or 15 straight consecutive prize picks losses. So we stopped that um, with the win yesterday. But um, still, uh, we need to do better on that end. But let's get into today's plays. <laughs> So it is the final four today. Very exciting. Uh, only three basketball games left of the college season. So, of course, all four of our plays will be um, in that final four game. So first up, we are taking the under in San Diego State FAU. Uh, again, I've been flip-flopping these games back and forth. I can't decide on anything. But what I have decided on is this game is definitely going under. Um, since I placed it this morning, the line has moved to 130, 130 and a half. So I'm happy with my line at 131 and a half. Uh, my purpose for this um, San Diego State has 12 consecutive games going under, uh, fourth best defense. Their offense sucks. Um, FAU, what I found about, out about FAU is they play to their opponent's level every single game. They, when they played Kansas State, it was high scoring because Kansas State's a high scoring team. When they played Tennessee, it's low scoring. When we played Memphis, it's low scoring. They just mold to whatever team they're playing, which allows them to also stay in the games, um, which is why I really was debating taking FAU spread here. Um, but it also you know, they followed the other team's tempo. So I think the under is a safe play here. Again, I hate betting unders, um, but I do think that's a safe play. We'll move on to the next game. We do have a little bit of a same game parlay. We are taking UConn on the money line, and we are taking the adjusted over of 144 and a half in that game. Um, basically, UConn, if you're looking just at stats, is the best team left. They should smoke Miami. But again, Miami's here. They've been doubting everyone all year. Um, but I'm still liking UConn. UConn's just a better team. They're uh, fourth on uh, offense, 11 on defense. Miami is six on offense and like 110 on defense. So I'm trusting UConn's offense is going to propel them uh, to win this game, which is why I like the over. And I also like UConn money line. I was tempted on taking Miami spread, which still allows that opportunity to present itself later tonight if I want to take that since I just have the money line. But I do feel pretty confident in that little two-teamer. And then finally, um, Another kind of a, a hedge a little bit, I guess, not really at all. Um, but we are taking a two-teamer uh, parlay. We are taking San Diego State on the first half money line, parlayed with UConn on the first half money line. That comes out to plus 165 odds. Um, again, uh, F F when FAU stays in the games, uh, they make a late run, and we saw the same exact thing with Miami. They make late runs at the end of games, so I think the first half for each of the favorites is a pretty good play. Um, Miami makes late pushes. We saw them come back from 15 points down and beat Texas. And then FAU made a late comeback against Tennessee um, to win that game. And then I believe they're down late um, in the or early in the second half and came back and beat um, Kansas State. So I think both favorites are going to take the first half. It's just on the money line. Again, plus 165 is a great odds. And I forgot to mention the UConn um, same game parlay with UConn money line and the over of 144 and a half is plus 125 as well. So pretty good value um, there. And then, uh, of course, before we get into our prize picks pay, play, our daily uh, advertisement, oopsies, 
Our daily advertisement is our Picket um, partners. Again, you can use my promo code WORSTBETS. Um, the Picket app is great. It allows you to sync your sports book, um, keeps track of all your units, how much you're up, how much you're down, every single bet. You can post your bets. You can see your friends' bets. Um, just the greatest app to, to follow all of that. But let's get into our prize picks play. Um, again, we did hit one yesterday, so we are not defeated anymore, but it would be nice to regain um, another winner. So we're going to take a little two-teamer. We're taking Nathan McKinnon over five shots on goal, paired with Kemp over three shots on goal. Okay? Again, I'm terrible with uh, hockey pronunciation, so bear with me. Um, but both their shots on goal over. Um, McKinnon's, his last three games um, against their opponent tonight, I'm blanking on who they're playing again, um, but he had 10 shots, 7 shots, and 8 shots. So I think he should, should be able to get 5 against their opponent, and then Kemp is averaging 3 every single game. Um, so he could push, which I'm fine with. Again, I'm fine with a push. I'm fine with a push in prize fix. Um, but I do love that play. Again, a little two-teamer, and then you can use my code again on – um, prize picks for a hundred dollar deposit match, free a hundred bucks. Code is worst bets as well. Make sure you take advantage of that. But let's have a day. Um, again, final four, super excited. Hopefully, we win some money and uh, Godspeed, everyone.